In today's video, we are going to talk about the Forex calendar. Now, if you're new to trading and you do not know what the Forex calendar is, okay, basically Forex calendar is the list of uh, economic data for the week, okay? So right now, we're at forexfactory.com, okay? You can just uh, visit www.forexfactory.com to have a look at the uh, events line up for the week okay so typically when it comes to the uh, forex calendar um there are different types of nails okay let me just show you okay um so you have uh you have the uh, non-economic news you have the low impact you have the media impact and you have the high impact okay so generally you want to be focusing on uh, the high impact news okay basically those in red okay so what you can do is uh, you can actually uh, click here filter and uh, just look at the uh, you just set it to filter the uh, the red events okay so doing your uh, so-called forex uh, calendar analysis is very useful okay it helps you prepare for the trading week so normally for us we normally prepare uh, have a look uh, every day uh, and also on the weekends to plan for the week ahead Okay, so this week uh, a little ran, right? Because um, this week has been uh, not the easiest week to trade. Okay, you can see over here that uh, Donald Trump spoke, right? He spoke again, okay? He spoke again and he spoke again, okay? So what is super annoying about this week is that uh, you can see over here that there's a star over here. Okay, there's a star. Uh, there's a star. So what does the star mean? The star, as you can see over here, it says that the press conference announcement comes as a surprise from source. So as a surprise, okay? So now, as a trader, you do not like this kind of surprises. You don't like to, you know, be blindsided by, uh, you know, economic data. That's why uh, you look at the calendar. But when you have events like this, you know, 5.49 a.m., right? 5.50 a.m., 6.15 a.m., 4 a.m., 6.08 a.m., right? You can't really prepare, right? If, if I knew, for example, that uh, Donald Trump was going to, you know, trade, uh, not trade, sorry, he was going to speak at 6 a.m., I'm not going to enter a trade just before that because I know it's going to be volatile, okay? The other reason why, uh, you know, I personally hate all these conferences a lot is because when it comes to a conference, right, um, anything can happen, right? Uh, maybe Donald Trump or any other, you know, uh, you know, like the BOC governor, he say something wrongly or, you know, at the spur of the moment, he say something stupid or, you know, he, he just say something that makes the market go crazy, right? So it's really unpredictable, okay? So that is why uh, it's always better to stay out of a news event, right? Uh, in fact, uh, if you've been following our Telegram channel for some time, you will know that uh, we always say that... Uh, during event, event weeks, meaning that you have uh, conferences for the week, it's best to trade after the conference, right? Wait for the market to set up after the conference, then you actually trade it, right? You don't trade before the conference because the institutional players are not going to be trading uh, before the conference. And when they don't trade, the market doesn't move, right? So you want movement, you want to capture the uh, impulsive movement, right? You want to capture the trend. So that's only possible when institutional players are inside, okay? So before news event, they don't actually go in, right? But if you're talking about hard data, for example, core retail sales, retail sales, um, unemployment rate, right? These are data which the smart money or the institutions already know the data beforehand, okay? So since they already know the data beforehand, uh, chances are they already took a position before the market, uh, you know, the data is released to the market, okay? So that is why uh, we, you do see us trade before uh, the hard data news, like em employment change, employment rate, you, you do see us taking trades. Sometimes we go in on a bet, right, on a small stop loss, and we bet that, the, you know, the unemployment rate is good or the unemployment rate is bad. But when it comes to news event like this, right, it's terrible. It's really terrible because there's nothing you can do, right? Surprise events like this, there's nothing you can do. And if you have a trade, right, you, you might just lose money, 
Okay, so always use a stop loss, right? This is the importance of using a stop loss, right? You never know what can happen in the market. So you have a stop loss, then uh, you will prevent, at least you reduce your losses, right? I mean, if you get it wrong, you know, it's fine. It's not the end of the world, right? You just take the loss and you move on, okay? But uh, this short video just explained to you why uh, you want to avoid trading before uh, conferences, okay? And why surprise events like this are pain in the ass, right? And, you know, if you lost money, right, because of this few, you know, surprise events, right, uh, I feel you, okay? It's kind of normal. Okay, uh, to be honest, things like this don't always happen, right? Because it's because we are in a uh, pandemic now, right? That's why, you know, Donald Trump speaks literally almost every day, right? One, two, three, four out of the five days, right? It's crazy, right? This is seriously crazy, okay? So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you comment down below. Okay, if you are new to our channel, Right, we have a free Telegram channel in which uh, we share signals. Okay, we also have a free day trading guide at the bottom. Right, it's totally free, no credit card required. Uh, you can download it in the description below. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you in the next video.